How's it going guys? Hope y'all are doing great. This is Evlog coming to you live and thank you guys so much on your support on the channel. Thank you on your participation. Now, towards the ending of the previous episode, we were hit with a cliffhanger as Loose Chess, the founder of the X-Law, is duking it out with Marco and their battle is as, as good as it could get. So, without further ado, Let's check out the next episode and see what took place. These two are going at it like they want to kill each other or something. I don't think so. I'm not sure that uh, Luzidiger can stop those two. Maybe I am Medin. I think the only person who may be able to stop them will be Iron Medin. Man. Let's just get into this. Ooh. So Lucius is not giving it all. Well, it makes sense because he is one that thought Marco all he knows. Marco is going at him like he wants to kill him. As you can see, strength and experience came to play. Yo is going after his oversaw. So he's, these two are gonna duke it out or what? Mm? He's going after Hamidamaru. I believe that's I am Medin's doing, no? Yeah, because that's her cage. <laughs> mm. 
Oh, that's actually... That's actually not the real Iron Maiden. What if he calls it? He's going to attack anyway. Sweet. Hmm. That's a great um, mind game you used. So what happens to the X law now? Oh, he had children and a wife too. Wow. 
Val has done some terrible things. Is actually going to kill himself? Yo is back in. He is back in. Hmm. Are they gonna duke it out again? <laughs> they haven't had enough of each other? <laughs> That's a good question.
I'm sure he knows that. It's not a more but a stepping stone. All right. Round two of the tournament is finally upon us. Ren is going first. All right. Mm, that attack did not touch them. <laughs> they evaded his attack. Ooh. They disintegrated. They disintegrated his weapon. Mana negation.
<laughs> we are no death statues. <laughs> It's going to take the only Ren or three of them at the same time. All right. It is now a standoff and it looks like Horo Horo and uh, Choco Love will now be engaging in this match, which I think they should. Okay, I really think that Ren should not be too proud to let his teammates help him. Because the other guy, uh, he has what it's called mana negation. Whatever Ren throws at him, he would just use his oversoul to negate it and bring it to nothing as you guys saw when he disintegrated a, a good chunk of his sword so what is ren going to do next that will be different than what he already did because he told him that if you're going to do the same thing that you did before it will be futile it will be mudada you might as well give up now there's no need fighting on or you can let those two statues behind you help you, right? And he called Horohoro and Chocolate statues. And Horohoro said, damn you, we are no statues. But I think this is where, you know how the Ren character always is. He's always too proud and, not, and don't know when to give up or when to allow his friends to help him out. It's also part of his character that made him strong. It is, it is the same, the same thing that makes him strong is also the same thing that makes him too adamant to see reasons. You know what I mean? Because I believe this is where he should let the other two come in so that they can orchestrate a plan. But the fact the other guy told his other teammates to walk away that he can handle this all by himself, this should be his opportunity to allow his two friends to jump, you know, to come in and fight. Because now they can fight this guy three on one. Which means they can have a good chance defeating him. One person attacking him, doing a frontal attack. The other two attacking behind him or trying to confuse him so that one person will land a good solid blow. But it seems like that may not be the case because Ren, again, Ren Furuyoku and his oversoul has gotten stronger ever since the last time he fought. So I believe that's what is giving him courage to take this guy on all by himself. And the name of these, of this team, uh, v Viraja, Viraja of Gandhara. I'm not sure if that Viraja, if it is a short form of, or a way of saying the Valkyries or something like that, you know? But they look formidable. They look formidable. On the next episode, we will get to see how Rain will fare against this individual. I mean, look at the disintegration look at the negation there <laughs> the negation of that attack is just something else even rain couldn't believe it right so what is he going to do next that would be different than what he already done that i do not know i guess this is where we're going to see something new uh from rain because a straight frontal attack right will not work on this guy they're gonna have to use something different do something different Unless if he's going to attack him from behind, because that arm, that huge palm that comes out, it's invisible unless he wants his opponents to see it. That huge palm that comes out, it, it, what I, nothing can get through that palm. Unless if, they, if he tries to attack him from behind, maybe he will have a better chance of defeating him. But 
that's by the way post your thoughts here and let me know what y'all think about this episode um watching marco and loose just fight i thought that fight could have gone a little longer because those two the reason for their battle it is worthy right it, it, it made sense right although the fight didn't last longer than i expected it to last it's okay so far yo is back in the fight and uh, we're going to see what's going to happen from here on out. Their plan now is to wait. Since Howe is going to win the tournament, most likely win the tournament anyway, they will wait for him to uh, try to bond with the spirit or with the spiritual place or whatever. They believe that during that moment, he will be vulnerable for them to attack him. Right? He will be vulnerable, defenseless. And that would be the time they will attack him. But knowing how he lived very long, so long enough to understand that that's what they're going to try doing anyway. I'm sure how will be prepared for that moment. You know, I don't know. On that note, stay safe. Keep on keeping on. Sweet.